Hey guys, I'm going to show you two examples of how to use a progress bar in Microsoft Access so you can give users a sense of how far along in the process they are with something. Okay, I have a blank form here. First thing we want to do is add the progress bar. So to do that, we want to go here to More, ActiveX Controls. Let's scroll down until we find this here. Let's hit OK. Let's drag it down here. Let's make this a little wider so it looks nicer. I'm going to right click. Properties, I'm going to change it to something easy to remember like prog bar. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a button that counts to three. Each time it counts, it's going to go further along until we get to three and we're done. So count to three. We'll just do that so we remember. All right. So we want to click on the button, and then do right click, properties, event, on click. So once we click on this, it'll start to count. I'm going to throw in this code here. So prog bar and min and max, that's just the range that we're setting for the progress bar. So we're uh, dimming i as an integer. i is 1 to 3, so it's going to count 1, 2, 3 in a message box right here. All right. So whatever you put here, um, you know, this can be the events. I'm just having the message box go there. So this is our loop 1, 2, 3 starts here and then this goes to the next part of i so it goes one and then after here is two and three and so on all right let's give this a try and see if it works okay one two three great it worked okay i got rid of everything from before including the code as you can see here so now i have four fields here that i just added and once all four of these are filled out, this will be filled out all the way. If it's left blank, it'll be blank like this. Okay, so we got to do a, a few things here. First, we're going to create a subroutine here, and that's update progress bar. And what we're doing here is this is one of the fields, two, three, four, and so on. So each time one is filled out, it'll get a score as one, it's gonna count as one. If it's left blank, it's gonna be zero. So that's what's going on right there and then right here. So that's the case for all four of these here. And then count here. So one, if one of these is filled out, this will be one right here and that'll mean one fourth of the progress bar will be filled out. So you can see that like if two of these are filled out, it'll be half full, three, it'll be three quarters and then if all four are filled out, the whole progress bar will be filled. So you'll see. All right. Now we have to do a couple other things here. So we're going to set the range. And the range, again, is 0 to 4. So if it's 0, nothing will be filled in. If it's 4, all of it will be filled in, and so on. So we want to go to Form Properties here on Current, because this could be different for uh, every record, OK? All right, now what we want to put here is me.progbar. We did keep the name from before. The minimum value of the range is zero, okay? We're going to do the same thing with the max and make that four. Okay, so we got two steps done. Now we got to deal with that subroutine anytime those fields are updated. So we want to make it so when this is updated, for example, it will turn into one. It'll give that count value a one. All right, so I'm going to go after update, code builder. Okay, right here. I'm going to just type in update progress bar. And you can go ahead and copy that because we're going to need it again. Now let's do it for this one. There is a quick way of doing this, but uh, this is for a tutorial and I just thought this would be an easier way to demonstrate. You could just copy and paste all this in. All right, let's do one more. After update, the date of birth. All right, now let's try it. Okay. Good. Illinois. And just put in a date. Great. It's not really a date of birth, but that's okay. Well, I mean, it could be. Um, 
So if you take one of these away, you can see how it updates. And just when you think you're done, there's one more thing you have to do. You'll notice now that it's not filled in. And what we can do is just throw this in on current. So when the form loads for this particular record, just go ahead and put that subroutine in there, problem solved. See? Bam. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please watch some of the other ones. Look out for a new one next week and take care, everyone.